Bowling Green dropped to 0-3 following its 42-17 loss to Buffalo at the Doit. Now, despite the look of the score, the Falcons have plenty to be proud of. Sandusky native Terion Stewart found the end zone twice for the second straight game, and the offense as a whole had a season-best 399 yards. At times, we were able to run the ball, need to do it more consistently. We ran for uh, 180 yards, but it needs to be more consistent. And then, uh, obviously, we had some major breakdowns in pass protections. There was some... Uh, um, and again, they're good, don't get me wrong, but uh, there were some huge opportunities that we missed. So we need to continue to run the ball better on offense. We need to continue to protect the passer better. I think there was three uh, deals where Matt uh, forced the football, which he should have got to his check down, uh, one of which was in the two minute drive. Um, and then uh, obviously I think there was one in the third quarter. So there was three, I, I can't recall all of them, but I remember there was three. But uh, I thought there was at times he made some big time improvements. Uh, I think some guys in the perimeter really stepped up. Ortega Jones had a, a good game. Uh, Noah Massey played well. Quentin had a good game. Um, so on offense, there were some bright spots. We still on defense need to tackle. I mean, uh, we've got guys that are unblocked in the hole and uh, we're just missing tackles. The ball got spit out on the perimeter three times. And again, our freshman. Uh, couldn't hold up and make a tackle uh, in the open field. So uh, there's, we got a lot of work to do, uh, a ton of work to do. Um, but uh, at times you saw some encouraging things.